Hi, I'm Nathan, and this summer I got to go on an awesome geology trip for two weeks with some other geology students. I traveled all over western Montana, from Yellowstone to the south, all the way up to Glacier National Park in the north. There are a lot of stops along the way, and thanks to our teachers, we got to learn a lot. Glacier National Park, near the Canadian border, was actually one of our last stops. Our teacher, Callan Bentley, pointed out many different features of Glacier National Park, but two of them struck me as cooler than the others. One was the Purcell Sill, and the other were the stromatolites that can be seen all over the place. I'd like to talk about the Purcell Sill first. To start with, it doesn't seem to be called the Purcell Sill anymore. There was some confusion caused by the Purcell Lava also being in the area, but not being from the same time. Now it is referred to as the Magmatic Sill. It is made of dark to medium grade diorite, ranging from 30 to 100 meters thick, and is believed to have been included in the rock about 60 to 70 million years ago. The sill's inclusion caused contact metamorphism of the Helena Formation Dolostone it was included into. This can be seen as the adjacent layers of marble created when the Dolostone was melted and the organics were driven off, making the marble white. The sill is almost continuous within the Helena Formation, but it does jump horizons here and there. It also appears to have an offshoot above the Grinnell Glacier Cirque. Next, let's talk about the stromatolites. Glacier National Park has several forms of these structures, some of which I wasn't even sure were actually stromatolites because of their odd wavy appearance. Stromatolite is a structure created as algae mats in warm, shallow waters grow and get covered in incoming particulates. This happens continuously over time, building layer after layer of cemented particles and organic matter. There were many of these structures that, from a distance, appeared to be just another boulder. As I got closer, however, it was more obvious they had some very intricate patterns. Some of them, when seen from above, looked like a cut-open cabbage with rings of layers. Others, we could see from the side, looked more like half of a cut-open jawbreaker. The oddest stromatolites that I saw looked like the ridges of an elephant's tooth in mounded form, 